Hello, I'm Gordon Briggs, and I'll be presenting collaborative work done between the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory and the Human Robot Interaction Laboratory at Tufts University. Our talk is entitled, A Novel Architectural Method for Producing Dynamic Gaze Behavior in Human Robot Interactions. Gaze is a powerful cue. It can signal who or what an agent is paying attention to. An agent's gaze behavior can also signal lack of attention or increased mental workload. Because we constantly interpret gaze, both the presence and absence of a dynamic gaze behavior, it is important for robotic agents to send the right signals with their gaze. To illustrate this, let's take a look at an interactive object learning scenario. Here, a fetch robot is using the direct cognitive robotic architecture's one-shot learning capabilities to learn the names of novel objects in its environment. The red object is a glorp. Okay. The blue object is a blicket. Okay. Point to the glorp. Okay. While the robot has demonstrated that it has correctly learned the objects, you probably weren't entirely sure of this until the robot pointed to the right object at the end of the interaction. Despite the robot giving affirmative verbal feedback, the lack of gaze shifts during the dialogue interaction may lead to uncertainty about what the robot is actually learning. Because the importance of gaze in facilitating social interaction, including interactive learning, has long been recognized, a variety of prior computational approaches to generating gaze behaviors in HRI contexts have been developed. In a survey written by Edmoni and Scazzolati, three categories of prior approaches were identified, including data-driven, heuristic, and biologically inspired approaches. Data-driven and heuristic approaches are, are trained or tailored respectively for specific tasks and robotic platforms. In contrast, biologically inspired approaches use models of human perception or cognition as a basis for generating gaze behaviors. While these model-driven approaches tend to be more generalizable, they still suffer from some shortcomings. Some model-driven gaze behavior approaches are based are either fine-grained models of visual attention or broad models of human cognition that don't necessarily have dedicated attentional mechanisms. Others have explicit attentional mechanisms and have been demonstrated in robotic domains, but do not have natural language communication capabilities. Here we propose a novel model-driven approach to generate gaze behavior in human-robot inter interactions, including human-robot dialogue interactions. To do this, we developed an integration between two pre-existing architectures. The Dyer Cognitive Robotic Architecture, primarily developed by the Tufts University HRI Lab, and the Arcadia Modeling Framework, developed at NRL. The Dyer Architecture provides a flexible basis to interface with and control a variety of robotic platforms, as well as other capabilities such as natural language communication and 3D processing faculties. Arcadia provides a cognitively inspired framework that has attention as a central architectural mechanism, which can then be used to guide a robot's gaze direction. The aim of the Dyeric Arcadia integration is to provide a task and platform agnostic means to drive robot gaze behavior, factoring in both bottom-up perceptual and top-down cognitive considerations, including natural language dialogue. As Arcadia, unlike Dyeric, is relatively unknown in the HR community, we wanted to take a moment to discuss it further. Arcadia operates in discrete cognitive cycles. On each cycle, a series of components produce informational elements based on input from sensors or the previous cycle's informational buffer. Additionally, Arcadia uses an attentional strategy to select a single informational element to be the focus of attention, which is broadcast to all the components. Components may or may not engage in information processing differently depending on the focus of attention, allowing Arcadia to model both attention-dependent and attention-independent perceptual and cognitive processes. For instance, Arcadia has been used to build fine-grained models of a variety of human psychological phenomena including perceptual tasks such as multiple object tracking, and tasks that begin to bridge both perception and cognition, such as number perception and causal judgment. To integrate Dyeric and Arcadia, we wrapped an instance of Arcadia in a Dyeric component. Dyeric could then supply information directly to Arcadia's informational buffer. While Dyeric is not overall a synchronized architecture, each Dyeric component does have its own update cycle. Thus, the Arcadia cycle could be linked with the update cycle of the Dyeric component. On each cycle, the Dyer component could retrieve Arcadia's selected focus of attention, and depending on what sort of informational element this was, Dyer could shift the robot's gaze direction to orient itself accordingly. We developed a proof of concept integration demo in which, a three, in which 3D object information from Dyer's vision system was made available to Arcadia. 
We implemented a simple attentional strategy, which inhibited objects in the center of a robot field of the robot's field of view. An uninhibited 3D object would be selected in instead. Here we present a video showing the Arcadia Dark integration in action. In this demo, multiple objects are in front of a PR2 robot. Dark recognizes these and forwards 3D object information to Arcadia. As mentioned previously, Arcadia's attentional strategy in this demo is configured to perform a simple inhibition of return behavior, deprioritizing objects that have already been fixated on. An active shifting of robot gaze between objects emerges from this simple attentional strategy. Next, we sought to demonstrate linguistic queuing behavior. To do this, we injected additional information from Dark's dialogue system into Arcadia's informational buffer. Next, Arcadia components could then process semantic content from the latest utterances received by the dialogue system and use this in a new, more complex attentional strategy to bias attention toward objects with semantic similarity to recent descriptions. Here we present a video showing how this new Arcadia Dark model can improve the interactive object learning interaction shown at the beginning of the talk. The natural language dialogue, 3D visual processing, and object learning functionality in Dyark is identical Hello. to the interaction presented at the beginning of the talk. Do you see the red object? Yes. However, as you can see, the addition of the Arcadia integration the component and use of Arcadia focus of attention to guide the robot's gaze behavior provides additional non-linguistic feedback to the instructor yes. or any observer. The red object is a glorp. Okay. The blue object is a blicket. Okay. Point to the glorp. You can ask yourself whether you feel more confident that this version of the robot has correctly learned the object compared with the one at the beginning of the talk. Okay. Point to the blicket. Having demonstrated the integration in action, what are our next steps? First, we've already begun to use our integrated system as a platform for examining the utility of gaze in interactive learning. Some recent work by other groups, for instance, some presented last year at HRI, have examined how gaze behavior affects judgments of the robot's attention to learning and confidence. Both to evaluate our integration and to develop a more fine-grained measure of utility of gaze in learning scenarios, we wanted to ask people the question we just, had, we just alluded to before. Do you believe the, the robot has correctly learned the objects. To this end, we conducted a pilot study, which we describe in our paper. We also wanted to use our integrated architectures to develop more complex gaze behaviors in a variety of HRI scenarios. For instance, developing more natural gaze behavior in dialogue interactions where gaze between both speakers, audience members, and objects in the environment ought to be coordinated. This also includes anticipatory gaze to facilitate conversational turn-taking and other, otherwise signal the perceptual expectations of the robot. Other areas of future work include using the integration to enable active perception, that is the use of gaze shifts to enable proactive information gathering, as well as cross-modality attentional cueing. Our section in NRL has developed capacities to use auditory cues to capture visual attention, and it would be straightforward to use this integration to develop this in an HRI context. Finally, in our paper, we present one possible way of integrating Dyark and Arcadia. Other possible integration configurations could also be explored, including using multiple instances of Arcadia to have dedicated focuses of attention for specific robot modalities. To wrap up, I wanted to acknowledge my colleagues and collaborators at both the Naval Research Laboratory and the Tufts HRI Lab who helped make this work possible. Likewise, this work was supported and made possible by words from the Office of Naval Research. Thank you for your attention and we look forward to your feedback and questions.